Today we have a product review that reminds me of when our kids were little. It reminds me of college when all you could afford was Raymond noodles. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we try something new, you'll be alerted to it. So we got these in the mail. This company reached out to us and said, would you guys consider trying our Raymond noodles? And we said, sure. We said, sure. Uh, we did not look at the ingredients or anything like that. And uh, we're going to try these and then also go through our five things review. So this is from a company called, I'm I'm going to assume it's like Emi. I-M-M-I. Yep. So there was a little bit of copy on the back. It says Raymond Reimagine. We're Kevin and Kevin, and we founded EMI because we love Raymond. We grew up working alongside our families in the markets of Taiwan and Thailand, where making and eating noodles was a part of our everyday lives. At EMI, we're pay, uh, paying homage to our favorite foods while reimagining them for our modern diets with high quality oh. ingredients that taste as good as we remember. Yeah, so they have a website. It's I-M-M-I-E-A-T-S, Emmy Eats.com. We'll put a link for it down below. Yeah, and man, I used to eat a lot of Raymond noodles. Oh, yeah. I mean, I went through college, right? <laughs> that was what we could afford. And as um, a family of five, there were plenty of times that we reached for yakisoba noodles. I'm also a huge South Korean K-drama fan. Mm -hmm. And dude, every single one of those, like you would watch it and then go grab a bowl of ramen noodles because they were always eating so these. We have three different flavors here. We have black garlic chicken flavor. I've got Tom Yum shrimp flavor and spicy beef. Now, I don't think we need to try all three. What we're really looking for is consistency. Yeah. And is there any flavor? So I say we go a black garlic chicken. Yeah, I agree because I feel like that's the most neutral. A shrimp flavor can, you know, influence my decision making and spicy always yeah. can make it where you don't even taste a noodle if it's too spicy. I was always the spicy person, but I feel like this is a good happy medium. So there's two ways to make it. It says make it on a stove top, boil two cups of water and add Raymond and cook for seven minutes and then add, place Raymond and one cup of cooking water into a bowl and add your soup base. Okay. Or you can add one and a half cups of water and Raymond into a microwave safe bowl, microwave on high for four minutes, stir and repeat microwave for three more minutes and then add your soup base. I always used it in a microwave. I don't know if you want to do it on the stove. It looks like both ways is going to take about seven minutes. Yeah. So Might as well do it on the stove. We're going to go do this on the stove and we'll be right back with the taste test. Aw, chopsticks, well, my Well, you can't favorite. eat Raymond noodles without chopsticks. You are so right. And honestly, if you have a hard time, like I do, slowing down when you eat, use chopsticks yeah. because it slows you down versus using a fork or a spoon. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try this. It was pretty easy to make. This is what it looks like. Looks like Raymond. Does it smell like Raymond? It smells like a chicken garlic. It does. It, okay. it, it, it smells chicken garlicky. Want to dink it? This should be interesting because the way you're supposed to do it is pick Slurp up your bowl, it. right? Yeah. Are we dinking it or what? Yeah, dink. dink. Ooh. Mmm. It's still going. Okay. Mmm. They definitely have an interesting texture. They have a different mouthfeel than what I'm used to. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time since I've eaten a Raymond noodle, to be honest. It's better than like those like shirataki noodles. It and actually things like that. has it's a not slimy. Much it, better. It's, now I cooked this for seven minutes in boiling water, and um, it, it's almost like an al dente still. Yeah. It 
It's not bad. Mm -mm. Gotta do the sauce. Thank I got you. you a spoon. There's like a slight flavor from the chicken. It's like a chicken garlic. But I mean in the noodle. It's like the noodle picked up a little bit of the flavor, but not like infused into it. Yeah. What All do right. you think? I think we should do five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we're gonna review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Let me have those over there. Number one. We'll talk about the ingredients. Now, I did the black garlic chicken one, but I have a feeling that they pretty much all have the same ingredients. Pretty close. So the ingredients in this are pumpkin seed protein, wheat gluten, mm. modified food starch, sustainable palm oil, wheat, and then it contains less than 2% of yeast extract, natural flavors, sea salt, agave inulin powder, garlic powder, spices, onion powder, rice bran oil, potassium chloride, calcium carbonate, and maltodextrin. Mine actually has tapioca maltodextrin on top of the maltodextrin. So does this one. So, okay, ingredient, I'm not super happy with these ingredients. So yeah. it's interesting to see potassium chloride and calcium carbonate. So that's very similar to like the, the recipe that Keto Asian Flavors makes where you're getting the ingredients from Modernist Pantry. We recently did the, the chicken one from Steve from Serious Keto. That just had chicken. But what concerns me is, okay, so it has wheat gluten. I'm curious, is that vital wheat gluten? Because there's a difference and I don't mind vital wheat gluten if you're having a little bit, it's mostly protein but it's got food starts modified and then it actually has wheat in it. Right. So I'm just not super keen on these ingredients. No. Let's move on to number two. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? Yeah, so a package is one serving, which, which makes sense. Um, each package, uh, 310 calories for this flavor. This one is 300 and uh, this one's 310. All right, so 15 grams of fats. Uh, this one's 14. This one is 14. 22 grams of protein. 21 here, 22 here. Uh, 23 total carbs. 24 here and 24 here. And then they're looking at 18 grams of fiber. So they're saying this one it's has 19. five net carbs. This seems like something they're trying to make appealing to a vegetarian. Yeah, because it does say plant-based on the front. Yeah. Um, okay, that is a lot of total carbohydrates for right. me. I understand you've got dietary fiber at 19 grams. We're not really keen on taking out dietary fiber yeah. with the exception of very few like added ones like acacia gum and uh, anything like God made, right? Like if you eat, if you eat vegetables, like if you're yeah. going to eat like even an onion or if you're going to have asparagus or something like that, I'm okay taking those fibers out. But when you start adding a whole bunch of fiber, I'm just not keen on taking that out because yeah. a lot of times our body at least partially digests that. So, but it's 24 total carbohydrates. Uh, number three, how does it taste? It actually tastes pretty good. Yeah, it, it tastes pretty good, um, but it wasn't something that I absolutely had to have pre-keto. It was one of those things that you would fall back on. Right. That was very inexpensive and, you know, it made it, the food quickly, right? right? It was only a couple of minutes. Um, it was something that I could give to the kids if I'm running late from work because mm -hmm. they could just use a microwave to make it. Um, we did um, add things to our Raymond, like, you know, the benefit of like adding some vegetables. Scallions. And they say the same thing on here. You, you can, can add do stuff that to it. with it, but I feel like I don't necessarily you know, I'm blown away by the taste so much that I need to reincorporate something like this back into my life. Yeah, I think it, it tastes pretty good. I definitely think the texture is one of the best keto yeah. type Raymonds that I've had, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm willing to sacrifice 24 total carbohydrates to have this. But let's move on to, because again, you mentioned one of the reasons we had a lot of Raymond was- Super cheap. Cheap, right? Yeah. So let's move on to number four, how much does it cost? And we're gonna jump on over to their website. So here is their website, it's shopemeats.com. Uh, and so you can buy it in a six pack or a 12 pack. 
So you can get all three flavors or you can buy just one particular flavor. It is interesting, it says due to freight, uh, global freight delays, it's one to two weeks uh, for the variety pack. So if you buy six of them, it's $39. Wow. And if you buy 12 of them, it's $72. Definitely more expensive than what we're used to for paying for Raymond. Now, we weren't a couple that normally went to noodle bars when, right. you know, when we were dating. I know that there are some, you know, artisanal Raymond options where you can go to a restaurant and and they're hand making the noodles and that sort of experience that wasn't something that we were way into um but I don't know that that's you know the quality is up there in restaurant grade noodles though it, it, the bottom line is it works out to be like six dollars and fifty cents a piece I'm gonna buy a steak probably and I with don't that money. know if I'm willing to spend 650 on this yeah and then add in the total carbohydrates so that brings us to number five, would we recommend it? And I have to say, I just would not recommend this for somebody on a keto diet. Honestly, you know, like a lot of times I would say like, I will recommend it, but with an asterisk and say like, it's good for your children or something like right. that. And I think the ingredients are fine for our children. And I'd rather see our kids eating these ingredients over eating what, like regular cheap dollar a package ramen noodles are. Right. But then we have to get into the fact that it's six fifty a package. And we talk a lot about nutrient density. I don't mind spending more money for a keto friendly item, especially because I know the cost of ingredients. When you look at things that have almond flour and you know macadamia nuts, those Fresh. ingredients are expensive. But I have to look at nutrient density and like, what am I getting nutrient wise for my money? And when I look at $6.50 for 300 calories, and it's only got, what, 21 grams of protein and 14 grams of fat, but then you've got a lot of carbohydrates, for $6.50, I can go get two pounds of ground beef and have a lot more than 21 grams of protein. I mean, $6.50, two pounds of ground beef, that is all of the nutrition I need for the entire day. And I can pretty much cook it as quickly as it takes to cook this. Yeah, I would have to say I, I'm a pass on this also. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to try something. I always appreciate when a company is willing to send us something to, to give it a try. But honestly, my advice would be don't bother marketing it to keto people. This seems like something that a vegetarian might be interested in yeah. and going through the trouble of making it like, oh, it's only five net carbs. But that's not the only thing that we're about. We are looking for nutrient density. That's super important to us. We're not just trying to find like what numbers fit inside of our mouth macros so that we can eat, you know, things that we were used to eating pre-keto. Yeah. Well, that is going to be our video for today. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.